I might as well annex them while I can. Even though it's going to take a long ass time. Whatever. Ah, but I get this because it's the same culture group. That's nice. And my diplomat, my diplomat went up. Cool. So this will be done in September. Nice. But it'll go back down because of that thing. Oh. Shit. <laughs> Whatever. I'm losing tiny bits of military power here and there. What was I doing? Oh, please. Schwartz a writer. This, I guess. Come on, flip. So it looks like Reformed is mostly down here. And it's spreading up into Switzerland. How historical. And into Bavaria. Nice. I might not have that much of a problem with stuff after all. Annexed! Woo! And we accept Pomeranian culture. Sweet. Right, that should... Yeah. I have... 38, so... You get rid of 5. Mercenaries? That's stupid. should give me some more fleet. Oh, apparently they have a ton of fleet. So I need to get rid of eight of those. I don't want any of these. Punk. And that's only one over my limit. Oh, we'll clean it up anyway. Novgorod, I guess, because it seems like Novgorod's got more stuff in it. Um, so I can build temples now. Build a temple here. Anytime you can build a temple, you should. This will go way faster. Yeah. Crap is this? Right, base. So now I have to worry about converting these two provinces. Ooh. Greatly upset the emperor. I don't think we want to do that. Emperor is my friend. But ah. Uh. Why not? Diplotech. Okay. I still like this. Oh, passive uniformity. Hell yes. I have to break their lines with this. What? What? No! <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> I'm removing all this crap from the Empire then. Get off of my shit. No, 
also Oldenburg. Get out of my house, Austria. Hey, I'm not allied to your rival anymore. Oh, they really don't like that, that I did that. No, nope. that's too bad. So now the, the Emperor can't be like, oh hey, give me your stuff back. So, now, we have a problem in that our allies now don't like us. We start out with Lithuania. Um, you can probably, they're hostile with me, you can probably improve relations with uh, the Hansa, get them back. Oh no, we can't declare war on our, our fucking vassal that we're annexing. But I do have better relations over time from that thing. I still want to have admin as my focus, that's a good idea. I don't even like that. Okay, so Stettin is being converted right now. Oh no, Neumarkus. Okay. And I want to see. I don't even like this spy offense guy. He's garbage. I want him to die. When will he die? 13% yearly death risk. So he's 60. Okay, I don't care about Dulkadir, man. If there's something I could care less about gold than Dulkadir, I'm sure it would suck. Oh, the vessel is to me now. Cool. There we go. Hey. Oh no, Poland's entered a military coalition against us. That must mean my truce is up with them. Regency Council. Okay. Whatever. Right, marriages. So now I'm probably well below my limits as far as... Um... No? I'm at it. So I still have a royal marriage with Austria. I'm still guaranteeing the Hansa. I'd like to get my alliance back with the Hansa, but... Seems like it won't happen. <laughs> Maybe I should have given them that province. Whatever. That's fine. Okay. Why, dude? Did you rival me? Huh. What a jerk! I don't even know why you would do that. Double jerk. I like how this isn't even in a... They haven't even flipped to Protestant and they have this thing here. 
Nice. Okay. So where'd that move to? I don't know. Let's give you declared on the whole golden horde. Whatever. Vessels feel safe. The strength of our armies and our generosity to their rights have made our vessels feel safe and protected under our umbrella. To ensure the security of this relationship, they have increased the tribute they are willing to pay us. A shipper cheers his chief. He does not slay them. Some, sometimes they slay them. We talk about how you get, like, mutton lamb, then, if they don't slay them. Okay. Hostile attitude. Number of great power allies. Okay, well. Let's, uh. Remove provinces. Well, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> it's like, no, F you. <laughs> These aren't in the Empire anymore. That's what Austria gets. Okay, I need a new ally. Um... You might have any kind of chance of eclipsing any of my... Dudes, Poland, Muscovy, and Navgrad. Nope. No, no. Not close. Always take the base tax. Looks like Norway didn't get a chance to uh, colonize. I like this little detail of this being up here. Brunswick, why are you insulting me? What's your deal? Where are you? You even exist. I will kill you. That was probably an event. Oh, admin tech. Nice. So now, one more tech till we get an idea group. It will definitely be a military one. Dissolution of the Monasteries Act. What does this do? I like that. Stability cost is not really that big of a deal to me. This Bishop Act is... Taxes... Stability... And yeah, whatever. So once my aggressive expansion goes down, I don't have any aggressive expansion, but that uh, was not giving cores, yada yada, and annexed a member of the Holy Roman Empire goes down, then that'll be good, and then we can be friends again with the Hansa. Flip to Protestant. I suppose it doesn't really matter, but you should you should totally do it. Lithuania. Lithuania, okay. Sure. Go fight him. I'd like to get control of that, but whatever. It's not like you can do a whole lot about it. What did they want? Wenden? Everything? They do have claims on a lot of stuff. Uh. I can't walk through them anymore. Shit. 
Um. Okay, this is a waste of time. For now. Hmm. Wait, what? Get out of my face. Brandenburg. Get fucked. Oh, Muscovy's in this war. Oh. Okay. Well, this is an entirely different matter then. I'm at war with Riga. Yes. I'd like to see Muscovy sweep this out so that I can... This is a different war. so that I can take a couple of these Prussian provinces. Um, unfortunately, I don't think I can do anything with... What's the word I'm looking for here? Uh, with Brandenburg. So... Whatever. Okay, the Hunza is friendly again. Let's get our alliance back. Theologian died, that sucks. Tax modifier, I guess. 
Only one province has that. This guy's 63. Hanoverian Revolt. This is Oldenburg. Negotiate, I guess. It's a faraway province. I don't care. Okay. We'll knock them out of the war. That's good. Warriors still read books. Boo. Boo. You coming at me, bro? He's doing okay. Not anymore. <laughs> Squish. I want to piece you, but I can't. I want to go. Unfortunately, Semigelia is one of the ones that I want. I guess we'll just have to save our aggressive expansion for Poland. Boo! Yeah, that won't give it to me unless I have a claim anyway. Cool. So I think all of my provinces are now Protestant. Good. Even my provinces over here will be Protestant. I'll have some issues here, but that's not a big deal. and improve our relations with France. I don't care about that. My friends ought to take care of business over here and I don't really have to worry about it.
What are you doing? I'm, I'm at war with Pskov. Am I? Oh, they're just, uh... Helping Poland in their war. I see. Education for a king. Tragic passing of the previous king has left Eric gripped without a parent, but not without guardians or tutors. Advisors serving at our court are preoccupied with giving him the best education available in, preparing, in preparation of ruling Sweden. Hoping to gain favor and influence in the future, many people try to serve as a primary influence. Ultimately, one of them is likely to succeed, impacting what sort of ruler Eric Grip will turn out to be. So, go with administrative. He is 413. Diplomatic mine is necessary to rule Sweden or military. Teaching rules. Okay. So whichever of these pick, uh, let's balance them a little bit. This is actually changing. Anything? Whatever, Holstein. You're my vassal. I don't think that really is relevant. They'll they'll offer me a, uh, a little marriage eventually. I just vassalized them, so it's not really important. Man, I need more diplomats, man. This is ridiculous. I need like four. Is hmm? also Estonian. So I guess I should start after I get my relations above. Um, in the positive with France. I should start thinking about fabricating some claims on Poland to get the rest of these. I might have them release the Teutonic Order or something like that. Or I might release the Teutonic Order. No, that would be stupid. Because then I would give them this and this. And that would be dumb. Super dumb. I have so much money. Can I build a an embassy? I can't. Okay. Speaking of needing more diplomats. New draperies. Okay, so this makes wool uh, cheaper. Which is not necessarily something that I want. What are you doing? Go Lithuania! Woo! Kick their butts! I don't care how northern your Atlantic is. Okay, relations are positive. France. That's good. Let's go ahead and fabricate a claim on Marienburg. Now let's go for Mamel because then uh, if I get another I might get a mission to get some claims on them. That would be good. Looks like I'm gonna need to still have some mans over here. They'll just get exiled and have to walk through Poland, that's okay. 
Oh, apparently that made it occupied by me. Cool. <laughs> yes, do this. I like that. <laughs> Reoccupy this so I can take it so that <laughs> Lithuania can't get anything out of this war. <laughs> I'm a jerk. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for stopping your embargo with me, guy who's allied with me. See the siege. Polish pretender rebels. Nice. Let's keep those guys there so that we can uh, do that. <laughs> My dudes are like. Sieging things for me. Nice. No! My plan! At the very least, we can keep them from getting more than one province. Oh well. Honest, the honest broker. We are gaining international reputation as a nation that will respect the interests of all its citizens and defend the rights of others. Our domestic fair dealing is paying off in our neighborhood. They really like me. Hey, everybody likes me. Nice. Oh, and I got an indebted diplomat. I guess that finished. They're friendly to me now. Let's go ahead and improve relations then. To France. Hey. Hey, that didn't improve his Diplo tech at all. Boo. An educated king. The education of Eric the... something? Nine, uh, what? Oh, Eric, okay. It's like, why did they... why did that happen? But no. This is, uh... Eric the Fourteenth has had growing up, and during the Regency has prepared him to rule as king, just as we'd hoped. The advisors who provided are proud of having left such a lasting legacy of the wisdom and motives of the man who rules Sweden. Gain two Diplo. 